In this video, we're going to look at equations of circles which are centred at the origin. So we can see the centre of this particular circle is at the origin, and it goes through uh, 3 on the x-axis and minus 3, and it goes for 3 on the y-axis and minus 3 as well. So we can see that it has a radius of 3, because the distance from the centre to the circumference of the circle is 3. That distance is 3. So we need an equation for it. Now, what does it mean to have an equation of a line? Um, let's just take this simple example here. If we have a straight line that goes through 3 here and goes through 3 here. Now, the equation for this line is x plus y equals 3. And what that means is whatever point we pick on this line, this is like a membership rule. It dictates if a point is on the line, it has to obey this particular rule. So if I pick this point here, for example, that's the point 0, 3 it has to obey this membership rule here. So we can see the x value is 0 plus the y value, which is 3 in this case, does that to 3. So it obeys that rule, so that point is allowed to belong on the line. And similarly, this point here, it has the coordinate 3, 0. Does it obey this membership rule? Well, yes, it does, because 3 plus 0 is 3. So we similarly need to find a membership rule for being on this line here. So if we just put some arbitrary point, and that's going to have coordinates x, y. We don't know what it is, but whatever the x and y is, we have to find a rule about x and y that dictates whether it's on this line or not. So the way we do it is we actually form a right angle triangle. So if I draw a line like this, and I draw a line down and across like that, so we form a right angle triangle. Now let's think about the length on this particular right angle triangle. Now what's this distance here? What's the hypotenuse? Well, it's 3, isn't it? Because the radius of the circle is 3, but that distance 3, the radius of the circle is 3. So we're going to put a 3 on here. Yeah? Um, now, what's this distance here? Because it's a point x, y, that distance across here is x, isn't it? That distance is x, so that the x-coordinate is x. And this distance here is y, because the y-coordinate is y, so it's going up to a y value of y. So we've now got this right angle triangle. Now what do you know that links the three sides of a right angle triangle? Well, Pythagoras theorem. So you remember it's the shorter side, one of the shorter side squared plus the other shorter side squared equals a hypotenuse squared. So we've got x squared plus the other shorter side squared, y squared, equals three squared, which is nine. Yep. And regardless of where that point was, that point could be, I could have chosen that point to be this point on the circle. Does it obey this membership rule? Well, x is 3, y is 0. 3 squared plus 0 squared is 9. It works. What about if I chose this point on the circle here? Minus 3 squared, or minus 3 squared is 9, plus the y value, 0 squared is 9. Or point zero three. 0 squared plus 3 squared is 9. So it works. And whatever point I pick on the circle, because of Pythagoras theorem, it's going to obey this particular equation. And more generally, the equation of a circle which has radius r, in this case the radius was 3, but we could have any radius, that's centred at the origin is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And it, that just comes from Pythagoras theorem. So you don't need to remember the Pythagoras bit, you just need to remember this equation. If it's a circle centred at the origin with radius r, it has this equation. In this particular case, the radius was 3, so it'd be x squared plus y squared equals 3 squared, which is 9. So let's just pick a few examples. I've got this circle here, and it goes through 4, 4, minus 4, minus 4. What's the equation of the circle? Well, we just apply this formula here. It's going to be x squared plus y squared equals radius squared, and that's 4 in this case, that radius is 4, 4 squared is 16. And one more example. So if I was to say the equation, I'm going to give you the equation, x squared plus y squared is equal to 100, say, and I said that this x-intercept here was k, how do I work out what k is? Well, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. In this case, r squared is 100. So what squared is 100? Well, it's 10. So that means that k must be equal to 10. Now, two very quick test your understanding questions. See if you get it. 
I want you to give me the equation of this particular circle here. So I'm going to say that this, uh, this goes through, let's say, root 5. This is minus root 5. This is root 5. Minus root 5. What is the equation of this circle? And secondly, let's say this is a minus a, a minus a. If the equation of this circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 36, then what is a? You may want to pause the video to have a quick go at that. Right, hopefully you've had some time to think about this one. Well, if we just use this equation again, we have x squared plus y squared. Note that x and y are variables here, whereas r is a constant. So x and y stay as variables, x and y, is equal to the radius squared, r squared. Well, root 5 squared is root 5 squared is 5, isn't it? So we just get that. And this second one, if x squared plus y squared equals r squared, r squared is 36 and therefore the radius is 6, and, the, and A is the radius, so in this case, A is equal to 6.